Hello guys, question to you. Do you care if the amount of migration files becomes quite high in your Laravel project? If it's like 50 plus or 100 plus, should you care about that? Or is it no big deal? I've discussed that on Twitter. I just replied to this tweet, how to keep the number of migrations low. And I replied with, why would you care about that? Because the number of files in Laravel itself is also quite high. So why would you care about migration specifically? And in most cases, to be honest, you shouldn't. So I stand by my opinion and it received 41 likes. So a lot of people agree with me, but there are nuances. So as an example, I've took a project called Coel, music project, open source one. Let's close the readme. And it has quite a few migration files, not a huge amount, but something around 50 or so. In real life project, I've seen hundreds of migrations. And that's okay, the project still works. So with every change to the database, you add new migration and you move on. And large amount of migration files may cause two inconveniences. One inconvenience is to find the actual migration. So if you open in your ID, in your sidebar database migrations, the list is huge and it's hard to visually find something with the eyes. But that is kind of a non-existent problem in my opinion because every IDE should have the search and find mechanism. So in PHP Storm, I open shift shift and for example, songs table would give me the right migration or I can right click on the migration specifically, find in files and then search here. Or even simpler, I click migrations, I start typing songs and those migrations are highlighted. So whatever ID you use, I assume it has something like this. So the visual number of migration files is not a big deal in my opinion. But there's a more interesting issue that may cause real problems. I'm talking about the time to run those migrations. So if we run from the very beginning PHP Artisan migrate fresh for that project, how much time does it take? Yes, it is in production. Okay. It takes a few seconds, not a lot, but again, if you have hundreds of migrations, each of them takes like 20 milliseconds, 10 milliseconds, so millisecond here and there. Every migration is a query to the database, which may have more logic. So for example, this one took 142 milliseconds, so it may slow down. And you would say, how often do you do migrate fresh in your database? Only once per project probably, right? Or in the very beginning. Wrong. What about automated testing? If you run automated tests, probably you use something like refresh database or migrations. I've talked about that in my courses about testing recently. I've released two courses for beginners in testing and advanced testing, but the logic is the same. You refresh the database for every time the tests are running. And whether they are running locally, whether you're testing locally, or you have some kind of GitHub action to automate that, it takes time. So why wait 10 seconds for migrations to execute? Maybe there is a way to shorten that. So the actual problem is not about the amount of files, but about the time it takes to run the migrations. And from Laravel 8, you can dump the current status of your database, the current schema into SQL file by running one artisan command, PHP artisan schema dump. There are a few parameters. You can read about that in the official documentation, but I just want to demonstrate it to you how it works. Schema dump, a few warnings, but it was successful. And what happens then? In my database migrations, or in fact database schema, I have a new file, MySQL schema dump, which inside is just SQL for all the current schema of your database after all those migrations. And now let's try to run migrate fresh again and it would execute only the dump, which will take 217 milliseconds, and that's it. So it will not run migration after migration, it will just execute the SQL. And if you create some new migration, for example, you can do make migration, create, I don't know, cars table, and then run PHP artisan migrate fresh again, it would execute the dump, and then separately all the migrations after that dump. So this is the way how you can shorten the time of migration running and all those migration files are kind of like an archive from that point. In the description below, I will put a link for you to read more about schema dump and how it works under the hood. What do you think? Have you ever found it in your project that the number of files of migrations was a real problem and how did you solve it? 
or do you just move on creating migration files and don't pay attention to the number of files or the speed of migrations? Let's discuss in the comments. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.